Okay, gonna do a quick video on the power steering switch. Now we just replaced this power steering pump with an authentic straight from the Subaru dealer pump and immediately, well I shouldn't say immediately, after about seven miles, all these different trouble lights started coming on. So in the back there, that one wire harness that you had, that is what, that's where your switch is. And so it's a signal wire. So how to test that, you're gonna set your meter to ohms. Put one probe on the battery ground, and then the other probe is gonna go inside the harness here that goes down to the power steering switch. You're gonna have somebody start up the vehicle and turn the wheel left to right. Your reading should be very steady around 0.2 ohms. If you get anything more than that, that's how you'll tell that you have a bad power steering pressure switch. And again, this is a brand new pump from Subaru and the power steering switch comes with the pump. So it's a brand new switch as well. So this is just to go to prove to you that you can get bad parts right out of the box. So we're gonna go ahead and test this real quick and show you what a bad switch will look like. Okay, start it up. Got all the wires clear. Make sure your probes are clear of the belt and everything before you have them started up. So he's holding one test probe on there. Go ahead and turn the wheel. And see we're kind of jumping all over here at 66, going to OL. And he is not moving the probes at all. The probe is steadily on the sensor wire. And we are definitely getting a high reading. And again, he's just in there turning the wheel one direction to the other, back and forth, as the other guy's holding the probe. Okay, go ahead and shut it off. So again, any reading other than 0.2, right around there, is too high, and will tell you you have a bad power steering pressure switch. And again, that will kick ABS light, could kick traction control light, you'll get several lights coming on at the same time. This was a pretty easy diagnosis for us because we literally touched nothing other than simply replacing this pump and that and unplugging that one wire. Before that, the car had no code, so I knew it had to be something here. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe. I'm sure there's going to be more WRX stuff coming. Thanks for watching.